Let this season not be a way of you being doing the ordinary. If you become distracted, the time will go by. Like I've been telling you, just as the match or soccer match has been winding up, every player makes effort to do better. The seasons do not allow us to behave the, like the ordinary. We are not going to stay like the ordinary. We are not going to sow like the ordinary. I will not behave the way I used to. Because the seasons are not good. Share our burden, I share all the goodness of the church and the vision. And I'm always proud of you, and may my God bless all of you. Thank you for sacrificing and for giving. May God bless you. We have been speaking about the family for the past three months. Buri mwaka dufata igihembwe cya mezi atatu, July, August, na September. Every year we take a, a term and speak about uh, families, July, August, and September. And it shows the value that we give families because a church without uh, families has no values. The families is now church. So every year we have a, a, a term that we, uh, we sacrifice or dedicate to families and this year we ended that session with uh, 14 days of fasting and prayers. Last Thursday, I spoke about the plan of God on our families or our homes. Last Thursday, on Friday, I spoke about the enemy of families. And then on Saturday during the crusade, I spoke about what brought Christ here on earth. I believe that in the next coming days, we have testimonies and of what God has done in our children and in our families. And today we are speaking of our responsibilities in the time like this. So that we all know and we are aware of how we are going to handle ourselves because every season comes with a special way of handling ourselves. Ephesians 5, verse 14 to 17. This is why it said, Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Be very careful then how you live, not unwise, but as wise. Make the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Please take note of that uh, verse 16. 
making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. This verse uh, make the most of every opportunity. It means make effort and add more strength in everything you have been doing. Let your ways change and exceed on how you have been doing things. Let this season not be aware of you been doing the ordinary. If you become distracted, the time will go by. Like I've been telling you, just as the match or soccer match has been winding up, every player makes effort to do better. The seasons do not allow us to behave the, like the ordinary. We are not going to stay like the ordinary. We are not going to sow like the ordinary. I will not behave the way I used to. Because the seasons are not good. So the Bible says make every effort, the most of every opportunity. Do not sleep. There is no time to slumber. This is not the time to slumber. It's not the time to be distracted. It's not the time to be unwise. It's not the time to be foolish. It's the time to wake up. To do everything with effort. Because we need all our effort. God told me Sorry. Oh, God reminded me of the man in the Bible called Jonathan Jonathan was a David Jonathan was a friend of David. They had a covenant. And he went to the forest to comfort him and told him that David will be the, the king and he will be his a successor. He had a request. He knew that David will become the king. He knew that David is a man of God. Even though uh, Jonathan was the uh, son to Saul, he did not go on his side as a son. He did not uh, behave like the successor of his father. He chose the side of the spirit, which was David. He told David, I know that God will give you the grace to live. Nation. If you lead, I'll be the second one. But this man had a vision. He died before he became the second. He died with Saul. Not with David. He must have died thinking that he will be the successor. This is not the time to keep hoping and hoping. What you have swallowed, please stick to it. This is the time. Let you won't die before this comes to pass. The Bible says that you. Uh, make effort in everything you do do it with effort because the days are evil do not be surprised of how people are dying today we seeing a lot of rest in peace rest in peace with uh, untold uh, stories of their sicknesses. Uh, we hear hypertension. What hypertension? Is it blue? Is it red? 
What's hypertension? They tell you you have hypertension. What's hypertension? Is it the rushing of blood? Uh, people say you have cancer. How do they acquire that? They tell you hypertension. Another clinic says you don't have hypertension. They talk about stress or cancer. And a lot of sicknesses. Even if you don't die on your behalf, the Lord Jesus is coming. Soon. Do not be distracted. Do not be foolish. Be aware. There is nothing bad or regret to die in regret of what you did not accomplish. I want to die without the word regret in my life. Because regret means had I had another time to do something that I had to say. I will not regret. It's different to repent and to regret. It's different to repent and to regret. It's different but regretting it, it just simply means I, I did not do what I was supposed to do. The singer said the days pass by so quickly. The days pass so fast. As the days go by many pass away. Before they know Christ Jesus. There is something we can do let's do it with effort yes yeah let's do it with effort let's do it with zeal because the days are evil is passing by because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husband as you do to the Lord. I was surprised when God said, Wives, submit to your husbands, because I thought that a female person is somebody who is very soft and sweet. But I, use, I, I noticed that there is uh, sneaky women or bandit women. I used to meet women in the forest or at night and I used to, to be uh, fine with that but I, I noticed that the women can be as evil as anyone it's not uh, as the women here in Matoro it's the women elsewhere there is no evil women in this church. There is no bad women in this church. There's somewhere else where there is a lot of rain and storms. Ah, 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 ah,
ndatangara nsanga imana iratuze idutegeka ibyizi ko turwana nabyo ibwira abagore bagore muganduke mwene magambo nziko bitasanzwe kuri mwebwe so ndabasaba ibyo bitasanzwe muganduke then i noticed that god commanded the women to submit to their husbands because god knew that it's so hard for women to submit to their husbands when i got to the men's side I knew what was hard for the men. And God told the men, Magabo mukunde abagore banyu nguko Kristo yakunze itorero. And God told the men, please love your your wives. Buri abagabo love the church. Buri abagore gukunda abagabo. It is hard to love for men. Yo mambo nta mugore numwe kwisi dafite kwashora ukore y'urukundo. There is no woman on earth that does not have uh, or malnourished with love. Kabisa malnourished vraiment, malnourished of love. No no wanjarimo. My wife too. Mbandi muri BCC hano IRC hano. I have BCC here. Hano Kirite, hano Nani. No no. Kamuvugisha ndi kuri WhatsApp. Uh-huh. And I talk to my wife while I'm on WhatsApp. You okay? And she uh-huh. says, let's have a chat and I'll be like, okay. And she seems like she's not noticing that. And I inquire about everything else and she's the last person I inquire about. But it's not just me. There's a lot of other men. Hello? Hello? There's men somewhere in the mission and they call their wives hello and they start asking have we paid electricity uh, do the kids go to school niko uh, oh is the cow back in the uh, manger yeah did you do something about the goats and he asked about so many things without asking about the owner of the God knew that the men loved things and other other things but not their women I'm also learning how to love my wife please do not report me to my wife I'm also learning how to love. But this crusade, I brought, I got a new heart. I love the sheep more than them. Madam arambira ati sheri tuganire vraiment twari ko ganira kera tugende aze tuganire nkamwe my wife says honey let's go somewhere and and have a talk and I'm start start yawning ubwo nkaba ngona ibitotsi bimfata and I start yawning instead of my wife kuzi ndama gusika mbira dadi meze nabi nduba baniga ndashaka ikude rwose ma 30 minutes ngakanguka nkaja 30 minutes kabisa ngasiga nyina wabo honga imani ntabare when my sheep comes and, and starts complaining about their own lives i take 30 minutes to attend to them but i can't spare them for my wife najera 30 minutes ikabisa amasabi bivana nikibazo afite ngabase umugore wanje we nawe nawe mugani sintama nkuru kuki ariko gasanga imani ratuzi and it takes more than two hours to listen to another person but I it does I don't take so much time with my wife but God said husbands love your wives all you men before me all men here love their wives Ephesians 6:22 oh, sorry. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 2 it says honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with a promise I would like to see uh, people here with both parents mother and father please raise your hands uh, please clap for all those people. Yeah. Abandi bana nakwambi. 
other children still have both parents. I would like to see those with a single parent. People that have a single parent. Please clap for those people. People with no parent whatsoever like me, please raise your hands. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Those who still have both parents. It's a blessing. You need to take advantage of that. Please honor your father and mother. Please it's passing by, you not they are passing by, you won't have them all the time. Most especially that there is a blessing that comes with honoring both our parents. You will see peace. You will live long. If you have, if you want peace and live long. But it comes with a price. What could make our lives short it's grieving and regretting that you did not honor your parents. Sometimes our parents are not easy to live with or manage. An old woman that is abusive. A father that is not easy. That is abusive. But because you know your purpose, you have wisdom from God. Honor your father. Honor the Father and Mother on your own benefit. I have good news. All, all children in this church that had issues with their parents in the beginning, some parents would report to me and I'll tell them, let me handle the situation. And I would request some of the young people to do hard things, but just to honor their parents. And a parent would say, I do not want you to go to pray to Masoro Church with no reason. And I would speak to the children. Do not come back to church. Please call me during these days. And the father would stick to their decision. And others would be beaten up. Others would be stampled on. Trampled on. But I have good news. I have good news. All the parents that did not listen to their children, all those that I, I spoke to, guess what? Uh, all of them got saved. But how did they get saved? They, ref they refused to. Uh, they thought they will uh, have feud with their children. Do you, do you know that Apostle Joshua is, is a parent, is a guardian? We thought we are losing our children, but he is a guardian and a parent. I am a parent. I cannot separate the parents with children. Let me show you what happened to me. I finished school with uh, as an engineer. I was jobless. I don't know what happened to my father that day. And he told me, you're going on Tuesday, you're going on Saturday. I'm tired of your being away from home. Please sit down and we do work together. I was a man. I was not married yet, but I was a man capable of having his own home. And I said, Dad, is that what you need? 
and, and I did that. And the next morning, my father saw me sitting right in front of him. We had a, a supermarket and a, a place we, we sold beer. I arranged crates of, of beer all day and it was the first day. The next day, my dad saw me sitting right there at the shop. At 5 p.m., my dad turned around to me. Why didn't you go to church? Exactly. And I noticed that my father was ready to have feud with me because he wanted to see my reaction and he did not see it. From that day, my dad did not stop me from going to church. There is women who have feud with their husbands. Do not be foolish, be wise. And slaves obey your earthly masters with respect, with respect and fear and with sincerity of heart. We are speaking of not only the slaves, but it could be an employee, you could be a subordinate to your supervisor. Please respect your, your, your officials with a sincere heart. And God said, do not only do it in their presence, but even where you cannot, cannot see it. Because you're not only serving them, but you're serving the master above. Because you will be rewarded. This is how we have started now. This is how we are strengthened with the power of God. This is what God wants from us. And what we are going to do. And the rest, brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in His mighty power, be strong in the Lord. Lord. There is a power in the Lord. There is strength in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. In His mighty power. In His mighty power. Be strong in the Lord. And in His mighty power. In His mighty power. In his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God. Put on the full armor of God. Put on the full armor of God. So that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. The word that has hit me so hard that you did not see or you have seen the, the word deceit. You know you can fight with a lion or a bird. Yes, birds. Oh. Yeah. You can uh, meet a, a, a lion, but um, meeting a, a serpent is different because you, you might not see a serpent because it's deceitful. You would rather meet a lion, a rolling lion, than meeting a serpent. Satan is Satan 
Satan may come to you uh, uh, in, in the form of a snake as he did to Eva and Sa comes to separate you from God through deceit. Satan is going to come to Satan may come to you in a form of a dragon and standing right before you trying to devour you. Satan may come to you as a lion and roaring towards you. Uh, scaring you or terrifying you. Praise God for he is not a lion. You know the lion? The lion of Judah. You know the lion of Judah. In all kinds of ways. Uh, take your armor, but just remember the devil has deceit. For us to be able to uh, uh, defeat him, we need to be aware. There is those he tells that he, uh, God does not exist. There are those he tells to not do anything because it's old school. There are those who used to tell me that you also, Masasu, who is an engineer, you still believe in Satan and the devil and the demons. Those are things for old school people. There are stories I always tell people in the weddings. There is a, a young woman, a woman about 24 years who approached to me. She, has a, she had her master's degree at the age of 22. She came to me with all her luggage in the car with a young uh, baby uh, who is not even a year old. And she talked to me in very strong uh, vocabulary in French. And she said, I, have, I cannot live with Semek. Je vais aller vivre avec mon père. I'm going to live with my father. And he told me strong no, French. And I said, what did that make do? And he told me make sins. And he told me about make in a very vocabulary French that I had to need an, a translator. Talonné, cramponné, casanier, pantouflard. Without burdening you with all those strong vocabulary French words. And I told her in few words, what are you um, reporting Ara, about make? Aramgira. Now it teaches a pastor. You can also imagine pastor. And he calls me four times a day with no reason. And he introduces me to all kinds of people all day long, every day. Do you know what he did to me last night? He, did a, a, he had a surprise for me last night. What surprise did he have for you? Um, he, she, she said, uh, he took me to a restaurant last night. You know what he did for me? He said, he told me I am his father, his mother, his everything. How can I become his 
father and mother and everything for him. And yet to know that the, the, the man was a genocide survivor. He lost all his beloved ones during the genocide. He was telling his wife, My wife, you're the only person that I have in my life. And it became a problem for my wife, for his wife. She spoke openly. She spoke openly to me. And she said, He loves me too much. He is too much. He, he exaggerates in loving me. When she said that, I had anger from my toes to my head. I felt that I could love her in the name of Jesus. I remembered all the women who were malnourished of love and I felt anger of this woman. And I asked this woman, uh, you, you spoke about your mother and father. Where do they live? She said, my mother and my father are separated. I asked her, are your aunties still married? And she answered, they do not need men. They are all capable, well-off women. They have flats and flats and flats. They do not need the suppression of men on top of their heads. She has no auntie who is married. There is no auntie of hers that was married. Her father and mother are separated. She still thinks her master's degree can uh, save her. You know why? She does not know this story. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. But against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the dark. And against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Those you fight against are not the blood. Our attacks are not from a people, human beings. It's, it's not your mother-in-law, it's beyond her. If you, if you know about this story, you will not be stressed out about a flesh and blood. You will need wings. Praise God that he will clothe us with strength more than any other person. God, we thank God that he will give us wings. Praise God that we have strength more than any other person. We will not walk around and wander around. We will not run. We will fall on things like eagles with the power of God. Because in a time like this, we need our wings. That's why the Bible says, Therefore, put on the full armor of God. Take the wings of God. Take the strength of God. Take the... the uh, weapons of the Holy Spirit. Take the wisdom of God. Take the health of God. Take the authority of God. Take the wealth of God. So that you overcome in the season. Like in the name of Jesus. 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 There. Therefore, put yes. stand, 
Stand firm then with the belt of truth. Oh yeah. Very yeah. 13. Therefore put on the full armor of God. Yeah. Go on. So that when the day of evil comes. Kani muraje Jose mubashe guhagara mugize mute muda tsinzwe. Muyari magambo muhagara mugize mute mwa tsinze. Thank God for victory. Amen. So that yeah. you may stand without failing. Yes. You may, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm with the belt of truth. <laughs> Yo, I have little time. This belt that I'm wearing, if I didn't like it and buckle it well, my pants would fall. The next thing I will be ashamed. If I didn't wear this shoe, uh, if there were thorns and glasses, and these shoes, they stand for, self, uh, uh, for go good gospel of peace. Loving peace is loving your belt. Loving peace is loving your shoes. Loving a righteousness is loving your, 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 your breast. Loving salvation is loving your heart. Having faith is, is, is having, uh, having faith to protect us from the arrows of the evil. The sword is a good gospel. Therefore, God, when God gave the weapon, Amen. Amen. Verse 18 says, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. Do not pray with your mind. Do not pray with your brain. Do not pray anyhow. Pray in the spirit of God. Be overfilled by the spirit that comes from God. With all kinds of prayers in the spirit not only that do it with all your zeal without letting consistently, it go consistently permanently so that you will not be defeated and he also said pray for me as well it seems like it's me who is calling for help. Pray for me as well. This prayer for me also, I can relate it or compare it with all people in the official traditions. The Bible says this. The Bible says, uh, above all else, pray and intercede for all people in the official positions so that you may have long life. Because when the head is destroyed, the whole uh, body uh, is shaken. I pray to God that all the heads of the families will stand firm so that the whole household stands well supported by the uh, head. Let me give you some points. 
the first point. These are three things that I want you to pay attention to. The first thing is what we need to know and pray, uh, pay attention to is that the first one, the seasons that we are in are not for sleeping but to save time, having wisdom to do fast what the Lord wants. I plead to you, wake up from your sleep. Please save time. I plead to you, add zeal in seeking God. Because the days are evil. The second thing. God has a good and special plan for your marriage and your family. That is what the devil hates the most and fights more in all ways in a time such as this. The devil is not interested in what you're going through or how you're living life today. Because it passes by. What he's interested in is what you will become. The devil is not interested in our children in the life we are living today. He's interested in what we are we are going to become and so he wants to put a hold on it today. He knows that God has a good plan on your marriage. He knows that God has a good plan on your family. That plan is what is upsetting the devil. He wants to destroy that plan. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Christ. In the name of Jesus that plan is fulfilled. A good plan of God is fulfilled. The devil will not destroy the plan. The devil will not stop it. It will come to accomplish in the name of Jesus. The third point. That's what brought Jesus to take away the, the, uh, the works of the devil. Those are three points that you'll be uh, paying attention to. The first, we are not in good days. The second point. The second point. Knowing that the devil has a bad plan, but God has a good plan for you. The third is that what brought Christ is to finish the, all the bad works of the evil. The second point, our second, our, uh, the second point is our responsibility. This point is to clothe ourselves in strength, our wings, mighty power, God's full armor, so that we can stand in truth and peace against the devil's deceitfulness or attacks that intends to destroy our souls, homes and families as fast as he can. I pray that God gives you spiritual eyes, a spiritual eyes. You get to see spiritual supernatural empowerment. Uh, spiritual empowerment. Get spiritual gifts of faith. 
put on the uh, wings of the Lord and overcome and soar in the in, in, in heaven wings. the second point you have responsibility to pray in the spirit in different ways of prayer and persistently I pray that every family here and home becomes a, 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 a an altar, altar, an altar of, of prayers. Yeah. I pray that every family here may have a, a, an altar of prayer. Let uh, every family become the temple of God. Let every family become the temple of God. Sanctuary. Children and parents are praising God and, and, and feels like the home is a sanctuary of God. And pray all kinds of prayers. Akanyuma. The last responsibility. Every person fulfill their responsibilities as God requests from us. Should I start from the men or the women? Let me start with the men. Love your wives. Ask God to give you love to love your women or your wives. As Christ loved the church. I have good news. It is uh, it's, <laughs> God, it's, you're capable of doing that. It's possible that God will give you love. Not depending on the days. Not on your wealth. And you love your wife being enabled by the Lord. Women. Wives, submit to your husbands. Children. Love your parents. Abakozi, the slaves, mukorere aba shobuja mutabarya ya numutima wazi. Serve your masters without deceit. Ababye, uh, parents, muragira aba na ba nyuma tabashari la mumgan. Do not exasperate your children. Hani matkwe sehamu. And all of us, imiriango ya chibe paradiso. All our families be, will become Nutubona, paradise. Those who see us, they see a, a, fa, a paradise family. It is possible. I told people in the first service, uh, it's been 31 year, years since I married my wife. That day, there is a young man who screamed at me and he told me it will be destroyed. Your home will be destroyed. I rolled down the glass of my car and I stuck my head out and I said it will stick. And then Today, uh, 31 years later, this today uh, I have experienced that I can marry my wife very well. You didn't hear me. In 1989, when I married my wife, they asked me. Do you want to take Lydia as your wife? Ushaka gutwara Lydia ngumugore wawe. Nasubiza I do. I responded I do. Ariko kuvuga I do icyo gihe. But saying I do that time. Hari mo kwizera. Uh, there was faith in it. Hari kwizera imana. There was trusting God. Nari narabona uko ameze nari narabona experience. Nari ze imana. I didn't know who Lydia was. I was only trusting God. Nazi ko tuzahuza muri communication. I didn't know we will be on the same page in communication. Nazi nimba njewe nzajya ngona 
didn't know that I'll be snoring or she will be snoring so we, would, we wouldn't sleep. But today, if they ask me here, Pastor Abishai, do you want to take Lydia as your only one wife? Do you want to take Lydia as your only one wife? Sin I do. I can't say I do. I will say I do, 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 and do. Zatus and Nishan. Many do's. Hallelujah. There is a do for today and there is do's that are coming up. May your homes become paradise in the name of Jesus. May your families represent Christ. Let them call you the clouds that represent Christ. The clouds that represent Jesus. Let us pray. Lord Jesus. 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 Strong God. I bring all the families here. I bring you all the marriages in this place. The husband and the wife in this place. Let them be under your wings. Be strengthened by the strength Let of God. Let the palms become paradise. Become heaven on earth. And those who will see you, they will know that these people are from you, God. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for strengthening us and giving us wisdom. Thank you, Jesus. Man, Thank you for giving us Thank you for giving us an altar in our home. Thank you for giving us joy and peace in our home. Thank you for being our God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Savior. 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 Thank you,